So where did February go? <laughs> I know it's March and gosh, February sure was warm. It was 80 degree after 80 degree after 80 degree. We're flip it. 15 days in February were at least 80, 80. degrees. Wow. That's about 12 degrees above the normal. I did the math earlier, just a bunch of numbers and it's fun for a bunch of weather nerds. But 93, <laughs> weather geeks. No, yeah, weather geeks, 93% of the month saw days or saw temperatures above normal for that wow. day. So that is just absurd. Now, as we head into March, it's likely it's going to be on the cooler side. So it's just kind of a, an example of how the atmosphere just finds balance. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. But you guys get outside it's today. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's out right. Oh, well, yeah. You can just hold this weather and keep it all year. Just like <laughs> February, right? Well, the shot's not working for St. Augustine's, but it's a beautiful look. We're still in the 80s as of this hour, and it is beautiful outside. Just please get out and enjoy it. Now, there are a couple of clouds popping up and just a few spotty showers out there just south of Gainesville. A quick little downpour there. That's about it as we head through the next couple of hours. We do have a weakening cold front up toward northwest that will try to uh, bring us some precipitation. What it will do more so in the way of, well, trying to give us precipitation will definitely break down the warmth we've been seeing over the past couple of days. But these showers up to our northwest in southeast Georgia will make their way towards southeast or the, the rest of southeast Georgia and slowly, slowly, slowly fall apart in nature. And we can really just expect a kind of a thin line of some spottier showers um, as we head towards the later evening hours through the night tonight. So I really think we look towards the 10, 9, 10 p.m. hour or so to start to see just a few showers moving through the, um, the first coast or the, the first coast region. I think the best chance to see any precipitation will be for Folks in southeast Georgia, and by the time you head to bed tonight and wake up tomorrow morning, all that precipitation, really not much of anything will be gone by Friday morning. And we're left with a bit of a cooler day to start the weekend. The winds are going to shift out of the northwest. So we've been spoiled uh, through the day today with those gusty and, and pretty strong winds out of the southwest, which have been so, so warm. Through the night tonight, those are going to shift out of the northwest. And when we get those winds coming out of the north northwest, they're a little bit cooler. And we're going to see temperatures from the day today in the 80s as we head into the weekend drop nearly 20 degrees. So we're going to go from 80s today to in the 60s on Saturday. We'll barely get to 70 degrees for us on Saturday. Same idea on Sunday, if not a bit cooler. And notice the morning lows through this weekend. We're going to be in the 40s, so you're going to wake up in the mornings feeling a little bit chilly as we head into uh, this weekend. One thing you'll notice, though, there will be plenty of sunshine as that cool air sinks in because, well, it's going to be a bit drier. So Friday is that transition period, that transition day. You will wake up to a bit of some clouds. They'll be clearing in the afternoon, so do expect some increasing sunshine through our day. Temperatures will slowly fall into the 70s before we get into the 60s, like I mentioned earlier this weekend. And the better chance of rain, it looks like a, a more of a significant front arrives for us late Tuesday into Wednesday. That time period, we'll keep an eye on for it. This looks like we can get a bigger punch of some precipitation, maybe a rumble of thunder in that forecast. But other than that, we're looking pretty good, and we start March on a cooler note, and it looks as if the rest of the month it may be on that cooler note, guys. All right.